everyone and welcome back to Beverly's Design Time. Here are the things that I'll be using in today's DIY. First up, I have this three cavity rose mold and I also have this butterfly mold and there's three different size butterflies. I have this leaf mold and it has various size leaves on it. I have this paintbrush, some Mod Podge, a cup of water, and the same air dry clay that I used in a previous video. And here's what the packaging looks like. And last, I have a wine glass that I purchased from Dollar Tree. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull this label from the bottom, clean the glass, come back and start the DIY. I cleaned the glass inside and out, added napkins on the inside to keep it free of clay and Mod Podge. Starting out with my leaf mold, I'll show you how to make a few of those and then I'll move on to the next step. Condition your clay, press it into the mold, and try not to overfill the mold. If you do, you can just remove some of the clay and just press it back down in place. And here is our very first molded leaf. Guys, this mold is going to be a lifesaver for me. Because I've designed a previous glass and I had to make the leaves by hand. So this mold is really going to help me out a lot. Brush some Mod Podge on the back of the leaf and then place it on your glass. Make sure that the entire leaf is pressed against the glass. Make another leaf and repeat the same steps. I'm done adding my leaves, so now I'll go ahead and mold some roses and butterflies. And this is what the large butterfly looks like. But before I add it to the glass, I want to go ahead and make some stems to add to the leaves. Take a look at your glass and decide on where you want to add your first stem. If your stem is not thin enough, then just roll it out some more. Once you're happy with your stem, go ahead and use something sharp like an X-Acto knife. Use that to cut your stem so that you'll have a flat surface to bun with your leaf. Then add a little Mod Podge to the tip and along the side of the stem. Now attach the stem to the bottom of the leaf and start to wrap it around the neck of the glass. Continue to add Mod Podge to the clay as you wrap it around the bottom of the glass. At this point, I decided to stop adding clay to the base of my glass because I wanted to be able to hold on to it as I added more stems to the leaves. As you can see, I'm using the X-Acto knife to help me arrange the stems on the leaves. 
I'm done adding my stems to my leaves. So now I'll go ahead and continue to add my stem around the neck of my glass. Add more Mod Podge to the clay and continue from where you left off. And now we have this. So the next thing I'll do is add my butterflies and roses. Take your butterfly or rose and figure out where you want it on the glass. Add Mod Podge and then attach it to the glass. Make sure that the butterfly is making full contact with the glass. While you're adding your decorations, if you see any Mod Podge smeared on the glass, take this time now to clean it up. It's much easier to clean it up now than later. Continue to add decorations to your glass until you're done. Alright, so I think I'm done. I'm really happy with how it looks. As you can see, I added flowers right here on the neck and some butterflies as well. So now I'm going to take this water and just dip my brush in it. And wherever I have two decorations that are overlapping, I'm going to put some water right where they connect. And this is going to act like glue. So I'm just going to continue to do that all the way around. And once I'm done, I'll set it aside to dry. Come back and let you guys see what it looks like. Okay, everyone, this is my completed glass. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. Although, I think I could have went up a little bit higher with the decorations. Comment below and let me know what you think. I'm definitely going to be using this clay in more DIYs. I actually tested this design on a glass previous to this video. As you can see, it's a little bit different. The leaves are handmade and I added roses around the top. I think both glasses would be beautiful for a bride. Now the next thing that I need to do to both glasses is to add some color. And that's where you guys come in. I would like for you to comment below what color I should paint these glasses and which one should be what color. Should they be multicolor? Should they be gold, silver? Should I bling them out? Please comment below because I need you guys' help. And once I get enough comments to make a decision, I'll go ahead and do a DIY and bring that video back to you guys. So yeah guys, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this DIY and if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. And if you're a subscriber, make sure you turn on your notifications. And if you aren't a subscriber, I would truly love to have you join my YouTube family. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.